have uh, that might catch on fire. <laughs> You know Shots what I mean? fired! Da, 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 da. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to continue working on our brand new build, the Lamborghini Aventador SV. And as you guys can tell, it's had its fair share of damage. The sucker was rolled over, smashed in the rear, and you know what? It rolled clean into the Goon Squad garage where we're going to rebuild this thing and it's going to look better than ever. And as you guys can tell, we already removed a bunch of damage components from the rear end over here. And if you look over there, we got a whole entire pile of Aventador parts, which we're going to add to that today because we didn't actually take apart all the damaged components. And that's what we want to do is remove every last bit of damaged component. That way we could order it. And actually this morning, how much time did we spend ordering dude, parts? hours, dude. Hours. And I think we ordered almost everything for this rear end right here. But of course we might find a thing or two that we haven't ordered because we're going to dig into like right here where the frame structure pieces are. And I think we're going to get at this titanium exhaust dude, right I'm here. I'm ready to see what that rift exhaust looks like on behind that heating shield right there and just see what it looks like and possibly sounds like oh dude. my goodness if we can start this thing up man i am just gonna be super happy with that because we've never heard this thing in person right dude, here dude so no sir i'm excited about that right there so right now the first thing that we're gonna do is bring in some tools and take apart all this stuff right here and then a little bit later on i think we're gonna do some cleaning because we want to get all this dirt look at this this sucker is caked up with dirt all the way throughout and we want dude. to go ahead and get it all off you dude, know? i think we'll have a pile of mud when we pressure wash this thing 100 and we go on and like clean the inside as well the inside yep. just clean everything up because we usually do that at first right yep it's just in this scenario over here we had some like open motor pieces right there so we didn't want to get water in the motor so we're just going to save that for a little bit later but anyways let's go ahead bring in some tools tear some things down and then later on we'll clean it up Looks crazy right there. That does dude. look crazy. Look at honestly didn't think it was gonna look like that. Full titanium rift exhaust. I believe they custom weld each and every single one of these to order. I believe dude, so. hundred percent. Look, it says right here LP7 or LP750 race. Wow. Race HF, something like that. So oh, this is a high frequency my exhaust. Goodness. One of 88, so they only made 88 of these exhausts right now. Well, here, that kind of makes sense because there's not that many Aventadors, I guess, that mod their exhaust. Most of them keep dude, them stock, I think, and right? If they already have like one of 88, that means they only made 88 of these and that's it, dude. That's awesome. We had a super rare exhaust right oh. here. And what? What? The exhaust is bad. No way. Look at this right here. No way. Big old hole just ripped out of it. I guess it got hit right here and just ripped it and out of the And on this bright. side too. Oh, dang. Wow. There goes like a $10,000 $10, exhaust. Dude, yeah. that's insane. How does that even happen, dude? It must have got hit really hard. It just ripped it completely out. So I guess it's... We'll see what it sounds like when it starts. Dude, it's gonna sound insane. It's gonna sound probably a little bit raspy or it's just gonna sound off because it's just gonna be coming out over here. So I don't know, maybe it'll sound good though. But I think we have to remove like this exhaust piece right here because we gotta get this bracket off right here and the exhaust, oh, well, it's broken off of those brackets, but yep. we need to take, cause this actually holds the whole entire exhaust and we need to get this off cause it's broken. So who knows, may have to just take it off and it'll just be straight pipe, Dang dude. Dang it, so much for a titanium rift exhaust right here. I guess we're just gonna have to order a new one because we need it. We can't we have those it. holes burning hole, and, burning through other stuff. No, and we definitely need probably a titanium. That's probably the best sounding exhaust for this thing.
Yeah. Got duct tape for exhaust right here, dude. Dude, it's gonna work. Right Dang. What did we just do? A rift exhaust repair? We just did. Probably the world's first right there. That's man. crazy. I didn't even know the store sold stuff to repair that big of holes in exhaust. You know what Dude, I mean? It's crazy. And it, the, the hotter it gets, the, the the stickier it gets. So that's it. So once we rev it a few times. It'd be good, good as solid, man. Yes. Better than titanium. Exactly. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're moving on to starting our Lamborghini Aventador for the very first time. We we got everything that we need, right? Yeah, we got the coolant. We got some oil right there. We got a brand new battery, and that's the three things that we honestly need to start this thing up. So we got some European coolant. We got the Tiger Patch muffler stuff that we already patched one. We're going to go ahead and patch the other side. And hopefully you don't blow it clean off. Yeah, you? we just didn't want it shooting four flame balls into four different directions. You know so what I mean? Shoot four, five, six, oh, flame, six, flame, my six bad. flame balls, dude. <laughs> I think that's actually going to work really nice, and it's going to allow us to really hear this exhaust a lot better than it hopefully. would. Just out hopefully, hopefully, don't just blow that stuff clean off. Yeah, dude. so we're going to double check everything 100%, like the oil. We're going to top everything off and just, I guess, run it for like two minutes or two, something. Two, three, four, five, ten minutes, twenty minutes. Redline it, drive it, dude. Who knows? Oh, okay, hey, let's air the tires <laughs> up and go know, around. Dude. So we got a leak right there and a leak right there. But you know what? We're almost ready to fire this sucker up regardless dude, of that. Dude, we got plenty of coolant to let it leak for a few minutes, dude. Yeah, we only got two gallons that we're going to put in there. We just don't want it to run dry. Other than that, I think it'll be all right for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for a little bit, for a couple revs, dude. We got the oil in. The oil is completely full, like perfectly level. Coolant, exhaust is already wrapped. Battery is in. Everything is lighting up, dude. It's, I mean, it's time, dude. It this is, is crazy, dude. We're finally going to start this thing, dude. Wow. I can't wait, but I wanted to kind of just go over like this oil system right here. I think this is a dry sump right here, I believe so. Yeah, for sure. Just like any race car, it almost looks exactly like the Huracan and R8. Kind of the same thing, just two two extra cylinders, right? Two, yep, 10, two 11, extra 12, dude. Wow. Two extra cylinders, That's going to sound insane, man. I say we go ahead and just let let it rip, dude, man. Dude, I say we do. Are you excited? I'm just excited, dude. I'm I'm ready to, let's just see the dash first of all. Let's see the dash Everything and let's see if that leaks up. cranks over. What's going on in here? I hear oh, some stuff kicking into all gear. All sorts of commotion going. I feel pumps cutting on. A fuel. We got we got some fuel, like a little wow, bit of fuel right dude, there. That's awesome. I love that yellow cluster dude. right there. It just makes it feel like a more of a race and car. I think I, only the SVs possibly have that. Dude, that's super I wonder. I think sick. the SVJ has it as well. Are you ready? I'm ready. Like, I'm I can just hit that. one button and I think it'll fire up. Dude, go ahead and fire it up. Let's hear it. Insane, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. It spit flames. It did? It did split. Dude. Get back in there for one more second. Are you sure? Can I had to switch over to 4K. Dude, man, be careful because it's leaking everything. Let me move this ladder, man. That is insane. I think we're good. Just run it for, give it one more rev. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
smoking, man. <laughs> wow, that thing sounds wicked, dude, man. That's insane. Couple cold revs just to let that motor know what it's coming against, dude. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there, man. That was not even that was nowhere near redline, I guarantee dude, you. No, dude, it starts up and it sounds like it's already redlining, but it, that's not. It's just crazy. Idling. It's, it's just idling. It starts up so loud, it's insanely loud. I've never heard a car that loud. That's almost like 10 Rev street bikes. <laughs> dude, that's almost like revving the Huracan. This is just an idol, dude. That's insane. Wow, that is. So the coolant is leaking from somewhere right here. I'd noticed it's from one of these uh, little aluminum pipes right here. It got pinched up against the frame rail. So that definitely need to order that. It's one thing we got to order now, dude. Yep, right there. So this is a way that we have to find out what we need to order. And we leak out a bunch of oh, coolant right there. Look at this. <laughs> it blew that stuff clean off, what? dude. Tiger ain't no match against the bull, man. The That's, bull, I'm telling the you, The bull dude. always wins. <laughs> that is insane right there. I bet it was shooting flames out of there. I didn't dude, really see it. I bet it I bet it looked crazy. I, was, I wish I wish the coolant wasn't leaking. It wouldn't be so smoky, but who cares, man? That was just awesome, dude, man. Dude, that was so epic. I'm so happy that we finally fired it up. Sounds super healthy. Sounds insane. Imagine this thing going through a tunnel. Dude, imagine just ripping down this little street in front of our shop. Oh, my god. Mind goodness. blowing, That's going to be insane. Yes. And just like first gear, riding it out, redlining. Dude, imagine seventh gear. There's seven dude, gears in I this think thing? so. This thing is tops out at like 220 miles an hour, I think. That's unheard of, man. We need to go to the moon. We dude. need to go every bit of that, man. <laughs> on a track. On a, on a track close or close course. Close course. what i'm talking about I told you guys we already been ordering parts and that's what you see in the background right there that's the whole thing and everything is damaged what you see the pipe this is the pipe that's broken right there and the radiator i believe is broken right there so we may even pull that whole entire radiator and whole mechanism off and just mock this one up for now dude we want we want that car to be running for you guys and for us too because it sounds amazing and this is i think that's the only thing that's actually leaking on the car dude. that is just awesome right there so we're going to quickly swap this out because we definitely want that car to idle some more and also just see if it's a healthy motor and just also shoot some flame Balls that's the most guys. important thing dude that rev <laughs> just hearing it start up and if we can get every fluid just intact dude it's gonna sound amazing yeah dude. let's go ahead and i guess swap this out right quick and hopefully get it fired back up dude let's do it <laughs> thick this rotor is right here do you massive. see it it looks massive from the side but from the back that's like two inches wide it's super thick right there dude that's wow. crazy how massive they are dude that's crazy but you know what that's i guess what you need when you get to high speeds you got to be able to slow it down 100 percent, man. but also look at all this mud caked up in here all around and we're actually having to move some of it out of the way it seems like we're cleaning the car but not yet we're having to unplug some stuff right here in order for it to snake throughout um, this right here, that radiator bracket. Yeah, dude, super, I mean, super clogged with mud. I'm having to use this pick, try to get all that mud around the clips and stuff like that. There's just so much mud, man. It's insane, dude. Yep. But here's the little thing that we got to swap out. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and probably just throw this on. Just however, we're not going to fully secure it because it's got to come off for the framework, which we actually discovered some pretty crazy dude, damages, man. I think it's cracked back here, Let's dude. go ahead and show you guys where we think there's going to be frame damage right here. Yeah. Look at the difference between this and this right here and i believe it's possibly just this back section right here just this little elbow or this little l bracket i think it's completely cracked off and pushed no. over right there so we're gonna either oh, yeah. have to try to fix this bracket 
uh, like cut it off, fix it, or see if somebody will just sell this piece. That way we can just re weld it. Yeah, that might be one of those difficult to find pieces because it is such like a, a structural piece that you usually sell as one unit. But hey, maybe even the Lamborghini dealership could sell that. Yeah, you know? probably. We'll have to definitely check on their uh, website, stuff like that. But if we can get a new piece, that'll be way better than like spending a bunch of time fixing that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's so true. But man, I can't wait to get to the framework and line everything up in the back here. But so far, you know what? Right now, we're focused on getting this sucker started and idling. Yes. And just hear it. Just dude, listen to it, 100%. man. I mean, we were just revving it at cold, like cold start. It's just some just slight revs. Imagine once it warms up and it just idles really good, then you can actually push it. Dude. Yeah, because it was kind of like uh, choking out or something yeah, because probably, it was just freshly started. You know what I mean? Freshly started, still cold and stuff like that. Fluid is just moving around. You know, we got to get everything moving right, dude. Pops. <laughs> he was crazy? telling me to cut it off. I was telling you to keep going. He didn't hear it yesterday. I'm already used to it. Dude, this Pops, thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, he probably can't even hear right now. <laughs> we got the fire extinguishers it's, ready and everything. It's burn it in a, and make a fire. So uh, this one is not uh, oh, this fire is made proof. For, yeah, this is fireproof. This is made for exhaust. That ain't du duct tape right there, Pops. That's that. That's good the exhaust old duct tape. <laughs> tiger tape or whatever you call it. But man. You should dude. you should see it from the back, dude. I bet I bet it sounds crazy, dude. It what sounds is like smoke? the smoke. I think um and a freeze burn off probably. No, it sounds like oil. It, it you know these heat shields right here. They're kind of like they're like like, they almost look like they're about to like that could be oil. You know that it could that's be could, oil. It kind of it probably drench that heat shield right there, which that can possibly start a fire. That almost looks like fire smoke right there. Honestly, you see how thick it is. Yeah, it does look like it's. That's why we need to wash it. So honestly, yeah, that's the main reason why we want to wash stuff is because some oil residue could be on something hot yeah. and it could catch a flame. Oil yeah. residue, and flame. then with that dirt, there's always a bunch of grasses and stuff. They're very dry. That stuff can just catch anything on fire. So, I mean, that's the whole point of getting that radiator on. That way we can possibly throw the wheels on and drive it yes. outside and wash it. But dude. man, I got to say, that sounds super healthy. It might be still running a little bit rough because there's like some grounds probably there's is connected. Grounds and there's like a big old positive like junction thing that a bunch of positive cables come together. It's kind of ripped apart. So that could be like a bunch of other stuff not operating properly. But as, as long as it starts, dude. as long as it starts and it, sh it shoots flames, we're happy. Dude. 
I wish I can go through these modes so I can see all my temperatures, but it won't let me use nothing on here. The clock spring could be bad, or what is or it? Maybe, maybe some fuse? Pyro fuse, you know, all that stuff. You know, so yeah. There could be some fuses not working really. Wow, we got every single light you can think of on man, right it's there. A dang, it's, it's Christmas times two in this thing, man. Man, <laughs> but hey, that's bound to happen. I mean, this car was on its top, on its side. Everywhere, dude. Every which way. It's, think of this car would and there's a bunch of wires that are ripped and stuff like that so you know it doesn't matter right now dude. hey as long as it runs, it runs hey i wonder if you put it in gear if it would go if it'd spin see if it'll allow you to put it in gear yeah first. oh it's got that race transmission let me check on the other side The rocks and the calipers. I don't think we want to do this. It could. Yeah. I'll probably just leave it in neutral. We got to clean it all up before we do Yeah, it. we definitely need to clean out all the rocks out of the rotors because it could break a carbon ceramic rotor there. <laughs> don't want that. Dude, but it sounds way better now. It does, no, yeah. It literally. No, no more like hiccuping or anything like yeah. that. It sounds really smooth now. It's crazy. I don't think this thing will idle down. I think it just. I think that's it. That's it. It's just straight pipes. It's one idle. Like, and the engine's right there, and the exhaust is, what, like five, four foot? So that's it. It it's, sounds like an F1 car, man. It sounds insane. It sounds dude. so insane. I'm almost wondering if it possibly has a tune on it, which it might. go through these modes so I can see all my temperatures but it won't let me use nothing on here. The clock spring could be bad or what is or it? Maybe, maybe some fuse? Pyro fuse, you know, all that stuff. You know, so yeah. There could be some fuses not working really. Wow, we got every single light you can think of on man, right it's there. A dang, it's, it's Christmas times two in this thing, man. Man, <laughs> but hey, that's bound to happen. I mean, this car was on its top, on its side. Everywhere, dude. Every which way. It's think of this car would and there's a bunch of wires that are ripped and stuff like that so you know it doesn't matter right now dude. hey as long as it runs, it runs hey i wonder if you put it in gear if it would go if it would spin see if it'll allow you to put it in gear yeah first. well be careful though because go for it a little bit in the calipers i don't think we want to do this it could yeah. i'll probably just leave it in neutral we got to clean it all up before we do yeah it. we definitely need to clean out all the rocks out of the rotors because it could break a carbon ceramic rotor there <laughs> don't want that dude but it sounds way better now it does no, yeah it literally no, no more like hiccuping or anything like yeah. that it sounds really smooth now it's crazy i don't think this thing will idle down i think it just I think that's it. That's it. It's just straight pipes. It's one idle. Like, and the engine's right there, and the exhaust is, what, like five, four foot? So that's it. It it's, sounds like an F1 car, man. It sounds insane. It sounds dude. so insane. I'm almost wondering if it possibly has a tune on it, which it might, but we don't know, dude. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to go touch all the wires, and I'm going to see if it's getting too hot. It sounds like it's actually coming down a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. A little bit. But yeah, if it's spitting flames, I think maybe it has a tune. What if we shut all the garage doors down and got it dark in here, oh. dude? It's Let's do it. Black, hey, dude. I'm sold. Let's do it. Let me see the lines right quick. Oil is just warm, but it is getting pretty hot pretty quick. Coolant, how's the coolant? Is it staying at the top? Yeah, coolant is good. It's still cold. Yo, it's reading cold. It's twin turboed. Dude, <laughs> what are these? I think those are the water pumps for the antifreeze, I believe, what? for left and right side. Oh, it looks almost like vacuum pumps. Or vacuum Some, pumps. Something with air, maybe. Some sort of pump right there. Oil is good. I mean, we already checked it because, of course, we looped it. Yeah, we put but oil in there. I mean, That means the left and the right side radiators are good. Yeah, dude, they're not leaking. So this was the only, like, 
radiator with the hole. These are damaged. They're just not busted. You know, they're tweaked. They're bent. Maybe we can possibly straighten them out. But we already ordered new yeah, ones. Yeah, we so. already ordered new ones. Maybe we'll try to sell those like that for cheap. Yeah, we'll sell I mean? a bunch of stuff on eBay, but let's shut this place down and see some Dude, flames. Let's do it. You think this is a good idea? Yeah. I think so, too. You know, you got to... Oh, oh, the earplugs. Do you think <laughs> revving the Lamborghini is a good idea? Oh, yeah. It's a silver load. the shop light up like a lightning strike i think you dude. figured it out like you you yeah. have to kind of just um get it at like a super yeah, low rpm you barely gotta just you just barely Limp touch it. it dude it's like going up to 2000 not even 2000 rpm and you're just shooting those fireballs you had Insane. pops literally ready with the fire extinguisher pop oh, that might catch on fire you see that that's oil like oh. that soaked into that fiberglass like uh, fireproof stuff it yeah might catch on fire. No. <laughs> dude, that's crazy, man. Dude, that was dude, that was the most epic backfire I have ever heard in my life. You I had these earplugs in right here, so dude, I'm gonna have to review it when on it camera. pops, dude, you can feel it. It's almost like bass dropping like at a concert, so it's like boom. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody reports us. Dude, you know shots I mean? fired. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Guys, that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. We didn't get to clean it once again, but you know what? There's just so much epicness going on. I don't know if we're ever gonna clean it. We might just have to leave it like this. You Dude, know what I mean? Just sit here and rev it every day, just man. Just rev it. No, we're done revving it. We're gonna start actually getting the sucker back. Oh, well, we still gotta take it apart. We gotta actually fix. We gotta find this part right here. That's the most important thing right now is to find this frame piece and then straighten out all the framework. And as for all the other stuff, we pretty much have it all on the way and a lot of stuff is already here. So before you know it, guys, this sucker is gonna be hitting the streets. It's gonna be an absolute, absolute menace to the streets. Dude, I'm you know telling you, it's mean? gonna be a flamethrower. It's gonna be the dragon, man. <laughs> pretty much, but man, this thing is gonna be absolutely insane. We're super happy that we're working on this right here along with you guys. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.